Welcome back, everybody. It's time now for the New York Minute for the Thursday card at Aqueduct. We're going to go to race number four. It's a state bred maiden special weight event for three-year-old fillies going six furlongs over... Ignore that track condition. We don't know what the track condition is going to be, but I can tell you this. There's a 70% chance of snow overnight there in Ozone Park, New York, up to about an inch tomorrow, uh, low chance of some precipitation. So we'll see what that track condition is uh, come post time. But Casey Lorne is your favorite at odds of 2-1 to one on the morning line. Jose Ortiz is in the irons. He's riding this 3-year-old filly for the second time. He rode her in a debut. Now she finishes third, beating four and three-quarter lengths. Now she didn't take a lot of money in this race. She ended up going off at 5-1 to one when all was said and done, but it was over a sloppy sealed track. And I thought she runs on well here to finish third, beating just four and three parts. That was back on December 6th. Out of that race, she has worked four times now for the barn of Chad Brown. This barn does tremendous work with not only first-time starters, but with second-time starters. How about 36% with the second-time starters? The three-year-old filly is two to one on the morning line. I like Midnight Champagne. Dylan Davis getting in the irons here for Sydney Dutrow. This three-year-old daughter of Noonmark was claimed for $40,000 back on December 10th. The winner of that race was Slam Chowder. Now, Midnight Champagne went to the front in that race. Slam Chowder pressed her every step of the way early on before taking over and drawing away. She would come out of that race to win a starter optional claiming event. But that filly going out for Sydney Dutrow is having a great start to the meeting. Is moved up into a spot where she's protected. She cannot be claimed. And she looks like she's the one they're going to have to catch. I don't think they catch her. Midnight Champagne might pick in the fourth on Thursday at Aqueduct. And this has been your New York Minute. Tom? Yeah, good point. Um, may, may be fast, may be good, could be muddy, I, I suppose. But uh, It's not supposed to be overly cold there tomorrow during the day. It's going to be about 38 is the high. So it's not as if it's going to be 17 and windy. Right, right. And, you know, there's going to be snow blowing all over the place. It, it, they're saying maybe about an inch of snow overnight. And then tomorrow it's about a 10% chance of precipitation. But if it's 38... It's going to be rain, so. It's always tough to do the New York Minute day ahead of time with the weather they've had. I mean, yeah. they've had cancellations. You know, Matt did the New York Minute, and then they didn't even race. But hopefully they're racing and yep. pick a winner in that one. Keep in mind, and I should have mentioned this, and I apologize for not doing so. Uh, starting tomorrow on weekdays, Aqueduct will start at 1.20 Eastern time. That's right. They've changed. 10.20 Pacific, yeah. Changed post time. And then on weekends, they will start around 12.45 Eastern time. So they're going to have eight races during the week, nine on weekends, different post times. Kind of like Santa Anita out here. We have 1 o'clock post during the week, 12.30 post on the weekends. So uh, keep that in mind. The first race at Aqueduct tomorrow, the first of eight, starts at uh, 1.20 Eastern time.